there's this special connection that you make when you actually handle a bird. When you get to see them up close, something that's so delicate. And I think that relationship becomes even stronger when you get to actually release a bird. That's a magic moment. My students and I, we've been studying swimming warblers in southern Indiana since 2000. This bird is threatened. It is listed as state endangered in the state of Indiana. My students and I, we've been involved in the project to try and unravel why this particular species is declining. We've seen a tremendous decline in songbird populations throughout North America, and it's estimated close to about three billion birds we've lost in the last several decades. These species have evolved to inhabit specific types of habitat. This is their home, and they're totally dependent on the resources that these forested ecosystems provide. Birds tend to use forested habitat to breed, to provide shelter during migration, to provide food during migration. They're fun to watch, they're charismatic. But what a lot of people are just starting to realize now is that birds across North America in general have been declining in quite significant numbers. Most of this is due to habitat loss. Birds need places to live just like we do when that habitat gets removed and their populations start to crash. Here in Indiana, we have abundant forests, but what is happening over time is these forests are maturing and becoming older. And with the lack of disturbance, we have a lack of age class diversity. There are certain birds that rely on young forests. There are certain birds that rely on old mature forest. And there's also generalists that need diversity throughout the forest. So without science-based forest management, we're gonna to continue to see a population decline in quite a few species of birds. Forestry for the Birds is a project from the Nature Conservancy targeted towards landowners and foresters to really optimize the forests that we have in Indiana to create this beneficial habitat for birds specifically. Indiana actually has almost 5 million acres of forest and almost 97% of forest land in Indiana is privately owned. This puts us in a really unique position where management opportunities abound. My wife and I own property here in Brown County. We have about 160 acres here total. We've done a lot of tree planting. We have some area where we've done some controlled burns. We've done a lot of selective harvesting. If we can get the whole range of forest age and types, that would support all the various bird species. The motivation is just to do what's right for the environment. With Forestry for the Birds, we chose 12 birds that we wanted to focus our forest management goals on. Many of these birds are indicators of forest health and forest diversity by focusing on birds as indicators of a forest health, we can benefit both birds and the ecosystem as a whole. People in Indiana can really help benefit the birds in their backyards, which can translate on a large scale to benefiting birds in North America as a whole, and hopefully help mitigate population losses and even bring some of our birds back. In many ways, I'm resentful of previous generations that have robbed me of the possibility of seeing an ivory bill woodpecker or passenger pigeon. And I certainly would not want to be the generation that didn't do anything and we actually saw species just slip through our fingers and become extinct. The beauty that I get from this particular bird, I want to make sure that that's something that's available for future generations to also observe in the field. <laughs>